Burton is, is such a great venue because it's really a complex. I mean, what we're dealing with here in this event particularly is not only just the rodeo that's here in the Coliseum behind me, we also have the livestock show going on in both our uh, event barn and our Burton Arena. Uh, this is a 50-acre complex that's multi-versatile to be able to handle any type of event. There's just a wide variety of things, and that's what's so great about it being here in this community because it's so versatile to be able to handle whatever comes its way. What is so unique about the event barn is that it is four acres under one roof, which is very unheard of. Um, there aren't many places out there that have that kind of size. And so we're not only able to assist with shows like the livestock show, but we also have car shows that are there. Um, the Flea Fest uh, comes here twice a year and that fills up the place. And so um, it's just another addition of, of being flexible and uh, being uh, able to support an event like this. When you put all of this together and you put the facilities together, you also have uh, a camper lot that we have that's uh, almost 300 spaces with full service, water, electric, sewer, and uh, it's just an added convenience. The biggest thing that most people may uh, not know about the Burton Complex is the fact that we have so many events here. On an average year, we have anywhere between 200 to 250 events. And that's probably a surprise to people because all most people really know about are big events like the rodeo and such. But we have almost every day there is something, in the work week at least, there's always something going on in one of our facilities. And so uh, we stay very busy, and uh, it's a good community center for everybody. From you know the small meetings that might take place in our, our meeting room here in the Coliseum, to something as large as the rodeo, uh, or the state basketball championships. The uh, Burton staff has done nothing but be completely professional hospitable and it says represented the community of Lake Charles in a, in a fashion that can be second to none. Uh, from the time we've got on site to the time we got to the hotel to the time we come back to on site, uh, they have done everything we've asked and I, I truly believe that there hasn't been a lot we've asked that they haven't already had planned for, but uh, it has been incredible. Uh, I have no, at this point I have no complaints and I've not had any fans, uh, coaches, officials, anyone involved come to me and tell me, Eddie, we need to do this, or Eddie, it would be nice if we had that. It's all been good. One of the things that we do is, is travel all over the United States working with different buildings, you know, and when you come here, uh, the, the people with the burden or the staff is absolutely incredible to work with. They, uh, they, don't, they don't ever say no, they just come, they come up to, with an answer to try to help you out and, and facilitate what you need. But the, the facilities here, you know, we've been coming here for 15, over 15 years, and the renovations that they've done, uh, to the facility is, is uh, state of the art for the facilities that we go to. Uh, you can compare this building to a lot of the newer buildings in this day and age and the thing about it is is that they just keep making improvements. Every year we come back and there's a lot of new things that, that happens and when they make improvements it makes our show better. So that's something that we're able to to give back to the fans and to the community. Uh, you got to get behind them because it's something that a lot of towns and a lot of cities wish they had and, and y'all got one right here in Lake Charles. You know, here at the Burton, we try our best to um, adapt to the forefront of what's going on out there in the industry, whether it be for local or for national touring productions. 
We may be an older building, it's about to be 40 years old, but if you walk in here, I can tell you, you won't think it's 40 years old. Uh, we're always trying to upgrade, and um, not just on the visual aspects, but also you know, all of our electrical, all of our data systems. Um, and uh, we're really pushing towards trying to be very aggressive in obtaining events that will be uh, a big benefit and high impact for Southwest Louisiana. You know, it's really important uh, to really push that message out, and we think we're doing a, an okay job. We keep uh, striving for uh, excellence, and uh, hopefully next several years, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of the Burton Coliseum Complex. Hopefully it's something that the community can enjoy, continue to enjoy, and um, I have high hopes for the future.